Hey, Padge here, bringing you another review on Root Tapper 79. Welcome to Padgins, Padgins, Padges Puffin Part or Padges Puffin Corner. Um, and I hope everyone had a really nice summer. We're now all regrouping uh, for the autumn stroke winter on Root Tapper 79. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. It's the only channel to be to get your roving reporter, all your vape news, your uh, technically challenged uh, tutorials with the Fury 79, RY4, and Ben Barkin Patterson bringing you the bunker, and me, the Padge, bringing you juice reviews. Now, I'm doing a double juice review today because we haven't done many uh, for the last couple of weeks because we've all been out and about on the road and up and down the country. Uh, bringing you two from Mr. Good Vape. These were free of charge for a, for a competition I won uh, back in I think July, and I'm doing Barma Mama. That was a really bad sort of Southern South American accent, and Sweet Loving. Um, both are fruit flavor mixes. I don't really know what's in them. I don't like looking at websites and seeing descriptions. I like to describe what I'm personally getting. And then, you know, I'll leave it up to you, the viewer, to then Google Mr. Good Vape Juices to see um, what the actual descriptions are. Because that way I feel I'm giving a fair, impartial and accurate and honest uh, review to what I'm tasting. Because taste obviously is very subjective. I've already put a few drops of Barma Mama onto the, and I'm still doing that really bad accent. I'm going to have to stop doing that. Uh, onto the Igo L 1.7 ohms, just been re wicked. Uh, two, two millimeter silica wick. Got about six wraps. I think it's 0.4 camphor ribbon wire. And this one, I'm getting like a the Barma Mama. The accent's getting better. I'm just getting fruit and I'm getting maybe a bubblegum sort of taste. Um, let's take a toot. Decent amount of vapour, as you can see. I think this is heavy in VG more than it is PG, although they don't give you the mix ratios as such. And they're both 12 milligram juices. Now, on the inhale on this one, I'm getting a fruit combination. It's very hard to actually work out what's going on because it's very, very... It's a, it's a busy juice. It's a complicated juice. There's loads going on in it. Now, I'm tasting, I'm tasting grape. And maybe coconut. Decent throat hit. And then just a really sweet undertone of something else coming through at the end. And I don't know what it is. When you smell it, it smells like bubblegum. But it doesn't taste like a bubblegum sort of taste. It might even have a hint of cotton candy or something in it. Because it's a sweet type taste. Not, well, sweet as in sweet tasting, but sweet as in a sweet that you'd eat. Um, very hard to describe. Hell, I don't know what this juice has got in it. All I know is it tastes really nice. I am baffled to what's in it. I'm tasting grape. I'm tasting maybe a bit of coconut. Maybe even a bit of banana. I know it sounds bizarre. But the banana I'm getting, it's almost like that slight hint of banana that you might get in like some sort of, in some cocktails and stuff. But it is really nice. Not sure whether I could vape it all day, and that's me being perfectly honest. Um, but nonetheless, 
it tastes really really good now I'm just gonna give this a quick dry burn and then I'll go on to the next flavor I'm vaping this at seven watts just get rid of that bit of wick that's hanging off And then we'll go on to the sweet loving. For all you ladies out there that like a bit of sweet loving, the Padge is going to bring you some right now. Probably shouldn't say that because the, the girlfriend might not approve, but I think she'll find the funny side of it. Now this smells fruity, I can smell strawberry. I can smell strawberry and a few other fruits in it. Just drop a few drops on and we'll be good to go. Again, 12 milligram juice, um, 7 watts. Let's take a toot. Sort out the air hole because I've got mm. that's better. Before I get onto the juice, I would always say make sure you've got your air hole lined up with your coil so you've got direct airflow to the coil because just a minute ago, um. It was coming for the vapor was coming coming quite coarse, and I always know that when that happens, it's because I've got little or not much airflow going directly to the coil. So always make sure you've got your air hole lined up. Straight away, straight away, strawberries, fresh strawberries. Tastes lovely. Reminds me very much of Chewitz. If you're of an age like myself, or I don't know whether Chewitz is still around, but the little Chewitz sweets, the strawberries, that's exactly the type of strawberry flavour I'm getting. Decent throw hit as always. Clouds of vapor again. I think this is one of the couple of juices they do, which is more heavy in VG than PG. Um, and wow, strawberries, and then I'm getting a slight little bit of melon, and then on the exhale, I'm getting bubble gum. And it's like a cross between hubba bubba and uh, bubbly bubble gum, if you're old enough to remember the bubbly bubble gum that came in like the colourful multicoloured little wrapper and I think had a paper tattoo on the inside of the wrapper as well also that bubble gum flavour reminds me a bit of Bazooka Joe bubble gum mm. Lovely. Really nice juice, both are really nice juices. Sweet loving and balm and mama. That's the, that's the end of my American accents. I'm not doing it anymore. Lovely juices, 
could I vape them all day? Bar my mama, I probably couldn't because it is, it will get a little bit sickly towards the end. Sweet loving, really like it. I could vape this for longer, but again, it wouldn't be an all day vape for me like the pistachio man or the moon sugar that Mr. Good Vape do. These have been two juice reviews on Mr. Good Vape. As always, I've been the Padge. You've been watching Root Tapper 79. Uh, don't forget, the Fury 79 has also got the Just Vapes Facebook page and also now the Just Vapes forum is live. Uh, so go along, check them out. And also I've got my own page, The Padge, on Facebook. That's www.facebook.com forward slash The Padge. That's all in capitals www.facebook.com just vapes and don't forget if you are new to vaping and you are looking for good UK juices because these are in America and to be honest they do cost an awful lot to get shipped in and whatnot and you can get great great juices in the UK to be fair um, I got these because I want them in a competition stick with UK vendors let's support the UK vendors and um, I'm just going to give you a quick list of a few UK vendors that I use for e-liquids that I think at the moment are making the most gourmet juices around. That's www.vapingking.co.uk. Um, you can find that vendor, Billy, on twitter.com forward slash vapingking and on facebook.com forward slash vapingking. Also, oh, I've dropped the card now, www.greatevape.co.uk, they make some excellent juices, uh, Welsh Mist, uh, if you haven't seen my review on Welsh Mist, then uh, check it out, and also just go along and buy some, because if you remember Murray Mints, and you're a lover of Murray Mints and stuff, you'll love Welsh Mist, although it's got a ton of other stuff going on in it, uh, another great company. Um, www.littlepuffer.co.uk uh, another great vendor based up in Wigan www.crackenesigs.com uh, another great UK vendor for devices and go along check them out all great all great vendors all vendors that I personally use as well um, I'm only telling you this because I believe that they are some of the great great vendors out there, along with www.personalvapor.com, um, an Inakin supplier of MVP. He's just got the MVP2 in as well. There you have it. That's been my juice review. As always, I've been the Padge. Stay safe. Have a great day. I'm holding the side of my head ready for the salute too early. Take care. Bye for now.